of January, beginning of February, the Metro saw six murders in just five days. It happened right as LMPD Chief Steve Conrad made the decision to scale back on overtime shifts in the city's most troubled neighborhoods. $1.2 million in the city's budget surplus had gone to that overtime, and those funds, supposed to last through summer, were going fast. I don't think that overtime in those neighborhoods at that rate at which we were spending it is... is, is sustainable. Conrad, back in front of the Metro Council's Public Safety Committee Monday, spent 80 minutes taking questions and even criticisms from council members like Jessica Green. Because I feel like that we just took a lot of money and a lot of hours and threw them up into the air. But Conrad defended his use of the funds and also his plans to reorganize the department four months ago. You know, we had 95 homicides on our city before the reorganization. We had over 400 shootings before the reorganization. The way we were working was not addressing it. He praised the efforts of the 9th Mobile Unit so far this year, taking 81 guns off the street and making multiple arrests by targeting known criminals. Still, council members are concerned 2017 has seen 20 homicides, seven more than this time last year. Violent crime continues to go up. Yes, ma'am. You know, 2013, I mean, we all are concerned about it. But Conrad says a plan to hire 150 additional officers and monitor hotspots will pay off. We have got people in the right place doing the right jobs right now. Um, and and I, I, I think if we were to make any changes, it would be tweaks. I wouldn't go backwards. And back here live tonight, Rick Vicky on the heels of last week's officer involved shooting in the Russell neighborhood. Chief Conrad, as you can imagine, quite fielded quite a few questions about those incidents. Since 2012, he said the department has had 17 officer involved shootings, 10 of them deadly. He says his officers are trained to shoot to stop the threat, but he did not mention last week's officer involved shooting, which remains under investigation by the Public Integrity Unit. Reporting live for you tonight from LMPD headquarters, I'm Lauren Adams, WLKY News.